Imagine a silent race taking place behind the scenes at Tesla, where the prize isn't just a better battery, but the future of millions of affordable electric cars. Two technologies are at the center of this dispute. Aluminum ion batteries, known as Alion, and sodium ion batteries. Both promise to revolutionize the Model 2, the long-awaited $25,000 electric car. But what no one expected was that leaked internal data would reveal that these two solutions are virtually opposites in performance, cost, and application. And this changes everything about how consumers will view the popular electric car. Allion arrives on the scene as an almost futuristic technology. According to leaks, it can charge from 0 to 80% in about 10 minutes, enough time to grab a coffee and get back on the road. For comparison's sake, that's three times faster than conventional lithium-ion batteries. But what really leaves the automotive community speechless is its estimated range. Up to 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometer on a single charge. That's twice the range of many current electric cars and, in some cases, more than the most fuel-efficient combustion vehicles on the market. Meanwhile, sodium-ion batteries follow a completely different philosophy, simplicity and affordability. They use much cheaper and more abundant materials, allowing for drastically reduced production costs. This characteristic is crucial to achieving the $25,000 price point in the Model 2. Despite their more modest energy density, they still deliver enough power for urban use with a shorter range, but still sufficient for daily commutes and routine trips. The curious detail is that Tesla doesn't appear to be focusing on a single direction. Instead, the tests indicate a dual strategy, maximizing Allian's technical advantages while simultaneously maintaining the viability of large-scale production with sodium technology. This approach reveals a shift in mindset. Instead of seeking the perfect battery, the company appears willing to customize solutions according to consumer usage profiles. But what leads Tesla to consider such expensive technology as Allion in an affordable car? The answer may lie in durability and user experience. For those on long trips, recharging in just a few minutes and driving over a thousand kilometers nonstop can be a game changer. Sodium, on the other hand, perfectly serves the urban consumer seeking convenience and low price, even if they have to charge their car more frequently or forego long non-stop journeys. Furthermore, technical choices aren't made solely based on raw performance. Battery behavior in different climates, speeds, and usage patterns also comes into play. And here, both the Allian and Sodium batteries offer unique characteristics. One offers stable performance in extreme situations, while the other simplifies production and reduces environmental impact. The final decision won't be easy, and by all indications, Tesla is taking it very seriously. An important point in this comparison is that aluminum technology still faces obstacles on an industrial scale. The manufacturing process requires more complex metal alloys and precise assembly control, which can limit production speed. Sodium, on the other hand, with its simplicity, fits perfectly into the plans of an accelerated assembly line, capable of delivering tens of thousands of units per month. This difference could be decisive in the short term. Behind every energy cell, a mobility philosophy is being shaped. One aims to expand the limits of what an electric vehicle can do. The other, how to make electric vehicles commonplace on the streets in everyone's pockets, and in everyone's lives. And it's in this contrast between ambition and practicality that the Model 2 begins to take shape, a form that's still open, but promises to shake up the market like no other model before it. When you look beyond the promises of charging speed and raw range, it's in performance over time that the differences between the two batteries truly become apparent. Tesla's aluminum ion technology internally dubbed Allion, has shown figures that defy industry standards. Leaked data suggests an estimated lifespan of 27 years, or more than 10,000 full charge cycles. For a daily driver, this means the owner could charge the vehicle every day for nearly three decades 
without a significant loss in efficiency. It's a longevity that puts even the most advanced lithium-ion batteries in the passenger seat. And most impressive is Allian's thermal performance. In simulated crash tests, the aluminum cells rarely exceeded 120 degrees of toises, even when punctured, virtually eliminating the risk of spontaneous combustion. One of the biggest concerns with lithium-ion batteries. This thermal control is crucial in real-world situations, such as crashes, overloading, or extreme weather. A car equipped with Allian not only promises to run longer and longer, but also raises the bar for safety without relying on complex cooling systems. On the other hand, sodium ion batteries have a more restrained but not negligible profile. They deliver an estimated lifespan of between 3,000 and 5,000 charge cycles before experiencing noticeable capacity loss. For those who make short trips and recharge less frequently, this lifespan may be more than sufficient for urban use over 8 to 10 years. However, under intense use, with long trips and frequent charging, performance tends to degrade more quickly. And that's where the difference with Allian becomes clear. Another area of concern in sodium tests is its behavior at high temperatures. Laboratory reports indicate that, with continuous use under extreme heat, sodium batteries experience a slight acceleration in capacity loss. This wear is slow but progressive. In very hot cities or for drivers who constantly drive at high speeds, this can mean the battery needs to be replaced in less than a decade, something that directly impacts long-term cost benefit. The Allian, on the other hand, maintained over 85% of its original capacity even in continuous driving tests at 120 km for over 400,000 km. This consistency under pressure reveals a battery designed not only to last, but to maintain its performance even after years of intense use. It's as if the car simply refuses to age. This reliability tends to be an irresistible attraction for those who see the Model 2 as a long-term investment, not just a temporary vehicle. Even low load performance reveals a gulf between the two technologies. While the Allian continues to deliver near full power even with less than 20% remaining energy, the sodium battery experiences a slight drop in performance, with acceleration reduced by up to 15%. In situations such as steep climbs or overtaking on highways, this difference can be noticed and felt by the driver. This shows that it's not just about how much the battery stores, but also how it responds when needed most. In practice, this means that drivers equipped with an Allian will be able to maintain an aggressive or sporty driving style with greater freedom. Those who opt for the sodium engine will enjoy a more economical and predictable drive, without unpleasant surprises, but also without great excitement. For urban consumers seeking simplicity and economy, this limitation may go unnoticed. But for those who demand more from their car, whether out of necessity or lifestyle, the difference will be significant. Even maintenance factors into this equation. Allian batteries are designed to withstand vibrations, sudden temperature changes, and long periods of disuse, requiring fewer technical interventions over the years. Sodium batteries, while easier to produce and replace, may require more frequent adjustments, especially after 3,000 cycles. This difference also impacts after-sales service, the value of the used vehicle, and the overall owner experience. Based on this scenario, it's clear that Tesla's choices aren't just between two different chemistries, but between two ways of understanding performance. One focuses on the almost military-like consistency of energy delivery, the other on the democratic simplicity of access. And it's this tension between extreme durability and affordable cost that will define the Model 2's next steps. It's in everyday life that batteries truly show their true colors, and that's precisely where the differences between aluminum and sodium begin to directly impact drivers' lives. When you think of an electric car like the Model 2, the question that comes to mind isn't just about range or power, but about how it performs in real-life situations. The aluminum battery, with its consistent performance even at low load, and ultra-fast charging capability seems tailor-made for those who live on the road. 
professionals who commute between cities, frequent travelers, or even ride-hailing drivers who cover long distances daily would benefit from this impressive stability. Imagine setting off on a 1,000-kilometer road trip, stopping for a 10-minute coffee, and already having 80% of your battery recharged. This completely changes the logic of long trips with electric cars, not to mention that performance remains the same even when the charge level is at 15%, something few vehicles can deliver today. For the driver, this means safety and predictability, two things that make all the difference when overtaking on the highway or climbing a mountain with a full car. Now, if the focus is on urban use, short trips, traffic jams, frequent stops, the situation changes. The sodium battery shines in this scenario. Its more modest range isn't a problem, as urban users rarely travel more than 100 or 200 kilos per day. The advantage lies in the cost, a cheaper, more accessible car with parts that can be replaced more easily. Is the charging time longer? Yes, but for those who will leave the car charging overnight or between daily commitments, this isn't really a problem. This type of profile also favors those buying their first electric car. The Model 2 with a sodium battery is expected to have the lowest price ever seen for a Tesla and perhaps the lowest on the global market. This attracts students, middle-class families, small-town drivers, in short, all those who previously viewed electric cars as distant and elitist. By adopting this technology, Tesla may finally open the door to truly popular electric vehicles. And it's not just the type of route that matters, but also the driving style. Drivers who like to floor it, make quick pickups, and feel the car respond immediately will notice the superiority of aluminum. Those who drive more leisurely, focusing on comfort, silence, and economy, can easily adapt to sodium without feeling a lack of power. The key is to match the battery type to the driver's style, not the other way around. Another interesting aspect is psychological autonomy. Not measured in kilometers, but that sense of peace of mind knowing you can drive twice as far without worrying about the next recharge point. Allian delivers this in spades. Even if the driver doesn't need 1,000 miles per charge, just knowing they have that range transforms the experience. It's like driving with a full tank. With the sodium hydraulic, this comfort isn't as present, but it's offset by lighter, simpler, and more uncomplicated use. From a practical standpoint, maintenance also varies depending on the user's profile. Allian requires less attention over the years, but can be more expensive to repair or replace in the event of out-of-warranty failures. The sodium battery, on the other hand, being simpler and more modular, allows for occasional replacements without compromising the entire system. For those seeking practicality and savings, this can be a real advantage, especially in countries where the technical support network is still expanding. There's also the issue of temperature and local climate. Allian performs best in regions with extreme temperature variations, whether in deserts or cities with harsh winters. Sodium, while functional, tends to show slight drops in efficiency in these same scenarios. This means that battery choice can vary even depending on the state or city where the car will be used. A Model 2 with Allian may make more sense in rural Texas than in central Sao Paulo, for example. Each battery, therefore, draws a different type of driver. One is for those who constantly accelerate, cross state, and face the unexpected. The other for those who prioritize economy, practicality, and the predictability of city streets. And it is the combination of these profiles that will define the success of each version of the Model 2 in global markets. Behind the hood and the performance charts, there's an invisible battlefield where Tesla's true challenges unfold, the production line. Mass producing an electric car is much more than assembling parts. It's a meticulous dance between cost, logistics, and scalability. And when it comes to batteries, these variables multiply. Allian technology, for example, impresses in almost every technical aspect, but its manufacturing complexity is the first major hurdle the aluminum-titanium compounds used in its cells require a delicate, 
highly controlled assembly process with specialized equipment and virtually zero margins for error. This level of precision increases costs and slows production. Producing an Allion on a large scale is like trying to manufacture a Swiss watch at a fast food pace. The materials are expensive, the steps are slow, and any flaw can compromise the unit's performance. For a premium car, this model might work. But when the goal is to put hundreds of thousands of Model 2s on the road, the equation doesn't add up so easily. Unless, of course, the final consumer price tag supports this increase, something that runs counter to the proposition of an affordable Tesla. In this context, the sodium battery shines precisely where Allian stumbles. Its raw material is abundant and inexpensive. Sodium can be extracted easily and without the need for large logistic structures. Furthermore, the sodium cell assembly process is much more forgiving, allowing production to be scaled up quickly in existing factories with minimal adaptations. This means fewer bottlenecks, increased speed, and most importantly, a significant reduction in cost per unit produced. Another advantage of sodium is its energy footprint. Producing Allium consumes more energy per cell due to its metal alloys and the need for controlled environments. Sodium, on the other hand, requires less energy and can be assembled using simpler techniques, making it more sustainable in terms of indirect emissions. At a time when Tesla is under global pressure to reduce the environmental impact of its production chain, this could weigh heavily on the strategic balance. Logistics also comes into play. The materials Allian needs aren't available everywhere. This creates dependence on international supply chains, increased delivery times, and greater vulnerability to geopolitical crises or supply disruptions. Sodium, being more common, and geographically distributed allows for decentralized production. Tesla could set up factories in emerging markets, reduce import costs, and even gain points with local incentive policies. In practice, this translates into flexibility. While Allian requires a highly specialized plant, sodium can be produced modularly, quickly, and even regionally. In markets like India, Latin America, or Southeast Asia, this approach could be the differentiator that allows Tesla to reach a completely new audience eager for electrification, but with limited budgets. None of this means that Allian is out of the running. Quite the opposite. Its technical potential is so great that Tesla could easily reserve this battery for specific lines, such as long-range versions or special editions of the Model 2, where the higher price is justified by performance. But for the bulk of production, Sodium appears more viable and more aligned with the goal of democratizing electric vehicles. It's worth remembering that Elon Musk has stated several times that the true revolution isn't about making an incredible electric car, but about making it accessible to millions of people. And to achieve this, production needs to be agile, cheap, and resilient. In this regard, the Sodium battery offers exactly the foundation Tesla needs to take the Model 2 from the factory, straight to the streets. The path Tesla is charting for the Model 2 seems increasingly directed toward a dual-use approach, something that would have been unthinkable not long ago in such a competitive market. Simultaneous testing with sodium and aluminum batteries isn't merely a technical comparison. It's actually evidence of a carefully designed strategy to segment the target audience and meet very different demands.